Quick tips for Phaser 3 game devs. Tip 4. Want to know how you can easily separate your animation configurations from your game code? And how you can easily take your code for creating animations from this? to just one line of code. We can easily do this by using the phaser 3 loader animation method. The first thing you'll need to do is we'll need to move all of our configurations for our various animations over to a new JSON file. And so we're gonna have this animations JSON file and this is going to be an object with one key called anims. And anims is going to be an array of objects, configuration options that we want. Then next what we'll do is in our create method, we're gonna go ahead and remove all of our code for creating our animations. Then next in our preload method, we'll use the phaser 3 loader animation method to load in our configuration. So provide our key, we're going to do animations uh, JSON, then our URL. So this is going to be assets, data, animations, JSON. So then what you can do is back in your create method, you'll be able to use your animations just like you did before. If you're interested in learning more about this topic, there'll be a link in the video description to a more detailed video on this topic.